What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. I've got my beautiful fiance Natasha out here with me. Hi. And we have John and Christina. And uh, we're out here at Lake Natoma. Unfortunately, Christina lost something. I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit about that in a second. But if you've never been to my channel before, what I like to do is I go out to the local lakes and rivers, try to help people return their valuables back to them, and also try to get all the trash off the bottom of the lakes and rivers. I thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasures. You have to get the trash too. But I'm gonna switch over to Christina right now, and she's gonna tell you basically why we're out here and uh, what she lost that means so much to her. Hi guys, so in 2013, we were living paycheck to paycheck, very broke. Um, we got a little bit of money and put a ring on layaway. Um, when it comes to how much the ring cost, wasn't expensive, but uh, for the memories and how I feel about it, it's, it's priceless. Um, and I really hope that he can find it today for us. So that's what I'm here today to do. Today I'm gonna to try to get that back to them. It, it, it's a very slim possibility. I'm not gonna lie, I've already told them the, uh, the odds are not in our favor. They lost it on Saturday, Sunday and Monday came before or after that. It's Tuesday right now. And Monday was Memorial Day, so it was absolutely packed this entire beach, those, both of those days that uh, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get out here for. So we're gonna hope that we can come across it. If we can't find it in this little beach area, we're gonna go over here. And she said that when she was getting out her clothes, um, when her kids were changing, they kind of flung the clothes around and she thinks the ring might've been in there as well. So we'll search around the cars. Maybe it might be in some of the ring, or some of the ring piles. <laughs> Maybe it might be in some of the leaf piles. And uh, who knows, maybe we could get lucky. I'm always gonna give it my best shot and always gonna keep up my highest hopes, so. Let's see what we can find today, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so got my mind lab right here. I'll pick up some of the trash that's already in our way. They said this rock is where their bag was, and they think if it was on the beach, it was gonna fall out of the bag. So we're gonna look all around this rock. As you can see, there's a bunch of holes along the beach where people were digging and all that. So hopefully nobody found it, and hopefully we can get lucky. Not literally. That's more so. I'd wait. I'm this thing. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Little toy coin. I mean, at this point, I don't know. He, even the kids could have kicked it while they were out here. Bobby Pan. It feels like it's fun, but it's ninety percent trash. That's really loud. That's a good sound. It's also the sound of a bottle cap. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, little stubby leg goose. Aww. He's like a pirate. He is a pirate. What's up, dude? Hi, baby. Like, what hey, happened man? to your foot? Got any food? Times are rough. The other thing I'm looking for right now is the depth of the find because if it's super deep, I obviously know it's not the ring. Yeah. You're able to set your depth on your thing. Uh, it just shows me in like bars. Up top. And I'm just a little bit of a hoarder, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's too powerful. So do you guys actually look in the water too? Mm -hmm, yeah, I need scuba dives. Wow. That's why I mainly look. Uh, that's why Merman Mike, it's, it's punny. Oh my gosh, that is so scary. <laughs> How many years yeah, have you been uh, trained for or certified? Uh, I think it was three now. August will be three. <laughs> I love how he calls out what it is. <laughs> That sound goes off my heart, you mm -hmm. know, just because. Skips a beat. I try to relieve that as much as soon as possible. I know, it really does. The minute you're like, Kenny, I'm like, okay. 
So like a little backstory would be I've, I've lost 60 pounds okay. and so none of my rings fit me. Okay. Um, and I've been waiting to get them sized, mm -hmm. but you know. Oh yeah, huh? congrats, oh, that's amazing. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but none of them, none of them fit. So they sit in the jewelry box and it's sad, you know, mm -hmm. like, and we've been we waiting to size them yet until she knows. And yeah, I don't want to get them sized and then go down another size and then have to get them sized again. And penny. Um, I know. I'm all Dollar and pennies today. So I was swimming and as I was like swimming, I could feel it moving. And I was like, oh, I didn't want to get out because I had just got adjusted to the water. Yeah, <laughs> and, right. Um, so like I run out and I slip it in and I normally put it in the bag where the zipper is and mm -hmm. I just wanted to be real quick we had the kids in the water and I just toss it in and didn't think about it until today three days later mm -hmm. oh let me get my ring out yeah. go put it up where it goes um yeah. I spent like probably two hours today in the front yard on our grass our grass is like all crabgrass so crabgrass the way it grows is like straight and then out mm -hmm. so I was like literally digging and filing through to try to find it see if it's somehow and, in your life yeah he reached out to a couple people and um i guess someone like told him about mm -hmm. you guys all right guys so we have moved the search from the lake to oh just turned on to their house um they said when they got done with the day and whatnot they basically got out of the car threw all their stuff on the grass and this is the last chance of where it could be um otherwise most likely someone found it on either sunday or monday while it was super packed out there but I like to give it my best shot and uh, rule out all the places. So this was gonna haunt me if I wasn't able to search it. <laughs> all right, let's start. Oh, I was gonna say, if I'm in completely the wrong area, please let me know. Who knows, maybe you have hidden treasure in your lawn too. Yeah. Dips. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. the majority of the stuff when you took so it all out i would say there there would be the grand area because i think we just threw them kind we'll of this whole area and then where did you move them and then i moved them up here so i would say from where she's standing from the top to the bottom so i was like when i was filing through it it's so deep Tucked in the root of the grass. Yeah. Cause these like roots are insane. Uh huh. Oh. Sangria. <laughs> oh. I can't say that that was mine or not, babe. Honestly, I doubt it. Back on the switch. Interesting. 
that look like <gasps> it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! There you go. Oh. I spent all morning looking at the grass. Oh my god. <laughs> you are so welcome. See, this is why I take the thorough step because I was like, I, I will keep thinking about it for the rest of eternity of like, what if it was in the grass Listen, when they took out their people yeah. think when you lose stuff in the grass that you could just go and find it. I was out here on my hands and knees, like corner to corner. You don't even understand. Ooh. All morning from sunlight until like noon. <laughs> <sighs> Wow. I went off and then I was, was looking awesome and I, I saw that like little shine and I was like, oh was my gosh. Deep? No, it, I saw the little, so when it went off, I got down here and when I hit, the sun was hitting it just right where I could kind of see the little shimmer and that's when I picked it up and I was like, this is it? And I was like, I'm not gonna get my hopes up because I searched right here. I was literally searching. I was gonna say, this was definitely the last spot, but I had somebody, I searched for two whole days in a spot and uh, it was for their grill. <sighs> They had taken it off and they could have swore it was on the beach. So they were like, I'm positive it got dropped on the beach. <laughs> Two days after that, they got home and they were searching through their stuff and whatnot. The kid had put it in his life jacket pocket or something and they ended up finding it in there. But so I always make sure to go through <laughs> all of the like, okay, well, what did you do after? What, what oh, happened awesome. then? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I can't awesome. even believe it though, because I'm telling you right now. See, I you guys searched. do get to be a happy ending. That's so <laughs> Oh. You guys don't understand though, really. I, I don't think you understand these. You're gonna make my whole like month because these are the kind of things that I keep, my I'll lawn, think back my on. My lawn was getting mowed tomorrow and that, I searched out here. And where was that? Forever. It might've got sucked I was. Oh, it would've. It yeah. was on the surface. It would've hit, gotten. And I was like, I don't want to waste your time. Like, I don't want you to have to come out here. And when you're like, no, I want to. And it's, you, I. It's like, it's not a waste of time. This is what I do. This is what I love to and do. And I love that. I, there it is. You don't even understand. <laughs> There she is. No, I am I am extremely happy. The most invaluable stuff that costs money to people, you know, people think money. I was gonna say, now your kids get to see you on a YouTube channel. He found it in the grass. It's Baba. Well, it's Baba. It's over here. Up at the top. It's right here. We looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. This. And that detected it. It goes beep, beep, beep when he finds something metal, buddy. So remember when we looked earlier all morning? Yeah. It was in there. Mom, I watch his YouTube channels. You watch his YouTube channels? Thank you so much. <laughs> what? He dives in the river and in the lakes and he finds treasures for people who lost stuff. Was this a treasure? And guess what? Yeah. <laughs> guess what? This he was a treasure. He said that we'll be on the YouTube channel. Huh? So you would be on it too. We're gonna be on his YouTube channel because he found our buried lost treasure. <laughs> you believe it? I was gonna say he's more excited about the YouTube channel than he, he is, is the treasure. You're he's famous, like, you're you guys. Shit. You guys are famous. All right, guys. So. We are done with our search today. Definitely led us a, a little further away than we're used to from our search area. <laughs> but I am so excited. I always, always try to go the extra step to make sure I check all the options. I mean, these kind of things, they haunt me when I can't find something and I'll always start thinking of like, well, what if it was here and I didn't go search there? Or what if it could have been there and that was only another 15 minutes drive for me or whatever it was. But, uh. Man, I am so, so stoked this got to be a happy ending. We got Christina with her ring back. How do you feel about that? Speechless, to be honest. Um, when, I, when I tell people like, it doesn't matter how thorough you look, sometimes you need an extra set of eyes. Absolutely. And a metal detector. So. I was gonna say, a little extra help always. <laughs> oh, it goes a long way. Exactly. And then and we got- I, I reached out to Mike and within 20 minutes, he was responding back to me and said, all right, let's meet down there, what time? And he, he was ready to come help me and he's someone I'll refer again. Hey, I'm awesome. always happy to help. And like I said before, guys, I'm so, so stoked this was able to work out. These are always my favorite videos when I can return just anything back to their owners. And I think this is actually the first one where I've only done metal detecting. This is gonna be the first, mm -hmm. yeah, this is gonna be the first only metal detecting video where I've gotten to help somebody find their ring. So I'm super stoked for you guys to get to see that. If you guys are liking these videos or like this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Always helps me get back out there, make more videos and return that many more valuables back from their owners. But for me, my beautiful fiance, Natasha. Bye. And our lovely guest. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Take care guys, till next time.